Hi guys, it's The Craftineer here, and I know, I know, I haven't posted in a while. I was super busy with school, and like I mentioned in my last video, I'm pregnant, so I've been dealing with all of that, and I wanted to show you guys this beautiful doll that my husband got for me. So he actually got this for me back in December for Christmas, and he totally surprised me with it. Uh, she was on my wish list, and like out of all the dolls that I had seen I really 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 wanted this one but just didn't have the money at the time so I was just gonna wait up and buy her in the future and he went and he got it for me like I couldn't believe it I am super excited to show her off and I've been waiting this whole time just so that I could unbox her for you guys so I'm excited today that finally I'm gonna be able to play with her so stay tuned and I'll show you everything that's in the box all right, so here she is out of the box, and again, as you can see, she has her little shoes, a bow, she has a little orange stand, which comes in two pieces, there's a little stuffed animal, and like her little card. We fell in love with this doll, like her, she's so unique, and I just really, really wanted her. So let me start taking her out, and then I'll come right back. All right, so here she is, all out of the box. One to two. So let's start off with her little card. This is what she's supposed to look like with her little bow. I obviously don't know what it says there. Today's feeling, plus my own fashion, plus, fashion, plus pull up style. That's her little card. Um, here's her stand, as you can see it's like a orangey color. Um, okay, let's start off. Since I'm at the bottom here, let's look at her shoes. They are super adorable. They're like high-heeled Mary Jane shoes. And then she has her little socks. Then look at this skirt with the flower pattern. I was looking and the apron is sewn onto it, so it's not like I, it's separate pieces. But yeah, she has like a little cat walking like in a little meadow or something on her apron. She does have this little bag here. I'm like afraid to touch her because she'll move in her stand. Um, you can see right here it's sewn on and on the back it is also. So for now, I'll leave her like that. I don't know if she's supposed to stay like that or not, but I'll leave her little bag there. And there she is with her little kitten stuffed animal. Let me move her for now so you can continue to see her. Um, and then she has this beautiful like little lace details for her collar. It's the same pattern as her skirt with a little button. So yeah, that's her outfit. Let me zoom out a little bit. Then onto the face. She is super cute. I love her lips. Like, they're kind of glossy, as you can see. Her eyes are... I don't think you can really see here. They're like a brownish color. They look sort of greenish here, but they're, they're brown. Um, let me show her eyelid. It's like this peachy color. Really cute. Uh, let's see if I can un open her eye. There we go. Not knocking her down. Then, look, I need to pull up. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Let me try with my other hand. I'm trying to show her her eyes move. There's the switch. You can see her eyes moving. So that's pretty cool. Then onto her hair, which was my favorite part and the reason why I really wanted this doll. So it is, I think it's wool. I, I really, it's not hair. See, I think it's wool. And then I can't really say what color it is because it's like a mixture it has like green 
with sort of orange in there. Hope you can, or maybe red. And then each, they're like little dreadlocks. So each one is like individually wrapped with green, green yarn. Sorry if you can hear my dog walking around in the background. But yeah, so she has her hair in like two pigtails, as you can see. And then she came with this little bow, which I absolutely love. It is super, super fluffy. And it matches with her little outfit. Yeah, overall, she is so beautiful. She's like a little country girl, and I absolutely love her. I will definitely be keeping her in her outfit for now. Um, and just displaying her like this. Like, I don't want to do anything to her because she's just so beautiful. But yeah, finally, <laughs> after December, I was able to get her out and now I can display her and just enjoy how beautiful she is. I am very thankful to my husband for getting her. I absolutely love her. I think I even cried when he like gave me the box. I just couldn't believe it that he had gotten her for me, so. I am super happy and hope you enjoyed this. Sorry for the quality. I, I don't have my craft room right now, so I'm doing the best that I can so I can get videos up for you guys. But yeah, that's my doll and till next time, see ya. So I did realize I forgot to show the back of the doll, so. Show her. Let's turn her around here. Please do not fall. She was like a pain to get on the stand. Yeah, let's show her from the back. You can see it's like uh, with the Velcro um, in the back. Her skirt is like folded upward. I'm sure, that's from being in the box. But yeah, that's the back of her. I'm gonna turn her around one more time. Oh, she's just so pretty. I love her. She is adorable. I love that hair. Alright, now for real this time. <laughs> See you guys on my next video.